toss up between Beyonce and Tina Fey, but I think Tina Fey has the edge just a little bit. She's hilarious, obviously super smart. I love that she is dominating in a category that women don't typically dominate in, at least right now. She's kind of paving the way, so I think she'd make for a pretty entertaining dinner guest. So there's two people that sort of come to mind, John Wooden, the legendary coach at UCLA, um, but then also Abe Lincoln. Anytime you have somebody who makes a uh, really difficult decision and then has to overcome adversity and stick to that decision and roots, uh, I think it's just fascinating to learn about how he got there, why, what went through his mind, how he dealt with all that pressure. I would actually plan a dinner party with Bjork. I think that she is fascinating. She is artistic in how she handles herself. She's nearly 50 years old and has been continuing to create her entire life and I'd love to find out how she continues to inspire herself and um, is able to just continue that process. Uh, it would be my grandfather, Hilding Haig. Um, he actually was the founder of our family business uh, 66 years ago and he passed away shortly before I was born so I never had a chance to meet him. I think it would be nice to hear what his vision for our company was back 66 years ago and to tell him some stories about how, what we're doing today and how much we've grown and the uh, adventures that we've gone through. The advice I have for my 21 year old self is that the image of success that I think our society creates and what we're supposed to do, you're supposed to get your MBA, your PhD, get a big job, make lots of money, climb up the career ladder, isn't really success for everybody and probably isn't the path I'm going to take in my life. If I'm out there doing something that helps the community and helps the people around me, that's gonna be success in my life. Well, I think at the time I probably thought I knew everything. Uh, definitely know that was not the case today. I think I would have probably joined our family business um, sooner than I did. Coming to work every day in a family business is much different. Working with my father on a regular basis, our relationship has, has uh, just grown tremendously, and to continue that, uh, that's very important to me. I would have just, I would have told myself to actually listen to what other people say because I did get a lot of great advice back then, and I think like any 21 year old, you're listening and then you're not really listening, so I would have just told myself to take in what everyone is saying and and go for every project with 100% passion and just do it. I think what I, you know, when I was in college and when I was 21, I was, you know, in school, working a lot of jobs, uh, just trying to get through college and, and, you know, get my career started. I think what I've learned is that you also need to take time to go and experience something new. You know, go on that road trip, experience the journey along the way and just, you know, have that nice work-life balance. My hidden or lesser known talent is actually cooking. I started cooking at a young age with my mother and um, one thing with my mother's cooking is she's a little on the bland side so I'm um, sorry mom but uh, I had to spice it up. You'll find me in the kitchen usually with a lot of different hot spices and uh, I'm not a recipe guy. I like to go off on my own and try new things. I like to do lots of different types of making things. I like to sew, I like to cook, um, anything that's creating something. But about two years ago, a friend taught me how to crochet. And it's been really fun because everyone thinks of it as like the thing that your grandma makes afghans. I like it because it's a very creative medium and you can kind of go every which direction you want with it and you can put it down and pick it up really easily, which I found with a lot of things you can't do. My talent is, uh is dribbling basketball and I, I still try to put that to use today. When I was a little kid we didn't have a basketball hoop in our in our driveway like a, a lot of kids do. Uh, so I, I would just spend time dribbling on our front sidewalk. I don't know if this qualifies as a talent but it's a strange thing I'm usually able to do. I can recount a pretty high number of digits of pi. 3.1415926535891 seven nine three two three eight four six four six two three three eight three two seven nine five oh two eight eight four one nine seven one six nine three nine nine three seven five one oh five eight two oh nine I think what? <laughs> I need to double check that <laughs>